Today, what I want to talk to you guys about is TweetDeck. Now, we all are accustomed to Twitter. We all know how to use Twitter. And Twitter is a very useful tool. However, there's a lot of noise going on in reference to Twitter. Now, what I've done here is I have several different applications. One application that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is the native app right here for the Mac app is called Twitter right here and you can see here here's my regular uh, website candy and here's some of my followers that I'm following and you can kind of see at a snapshot some of the things that they've posted here lately now right here is my personal Twitter which I really don't tweet from this one that often but this is where I kind of you know follow other everyone else on Twitter as well you know it's kind of a little bit of a task in reference to managing two different Twitter accounts because a lot of times I just tweet the same thing on both accounts however Right over here, I have TweetDeck. Now, it will be kind of asinine in reference to have the same materials here on TweetDeck that I have on my regular native Twitter account. So what I've done with this Twitter account right here is I've created a listening tool in reference to Twitter. Um, one thing that I really like about TweetDeck is they have the different columns and I'm not necessarily using it in reference to seeing my main timeline, my, you know, my mentions and my DM box there as most people probably would use this tool um, if they don't have any other alternative. But I'm using it, like I mentioned, as a listening tool so what I've done here is I've created in within these different columns different search terms that I'm looking for so me being a graphic designer me being a guy that uses Photoshop and teaches other people how to use Photoshop for me being a guy who builds websites and you know I'm looking for people that's having problems updating their website for the simple fact that you know that's where I could come into play updating their existing website or build them a new website and then I'm also looking right here for the parallax web design and as I scroll over here you know my building my website with these are different people and Twitter's just catching those different terms in reference to when people um, tweet there and you've seen this guy right here I'm not sure if you noticed or not but you notice that he had tweeted just now um, it says 36 seconds ago you know I need a graphic designer and that's exactly what I do this is my targeted potential client that I am looking for and you see how that just came right here to me so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to just you know from a distance here I'm just going to retweet what he has going on there and just reference to what he said for the simple fact I don't want to come off stalkerish I don't want to come off you know just throwing prices at him to say hey you know I'm a graphic designer you know what are your needs you know how can I help you how can I service you so what I just was what all I did was I just you know uh, retweeted his thing right there and I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna follow the fella in reference to you know just kind of staying at a distance here now here's another awesome thing that Twitter does as well is you can go over here and you can create a list and you see right here that I have a list already created and you can create new lists right here within TweetDeck and it's going to reflect on the regular Twitter application from your phone the native Twitter application that we looked at earlier it's going to look at Twitter on the web you're still going to be able to see this list so right here is I have a list right here created called follow-ups small interactions and I have this list locked here for the simple fact that I don't want necessarily the people that I'm targeting to know that I'm actually, um, you know, trying to target them in reference to uh, making them a client just just yet. I, I don't, you know, I want to come off as friendly as possible. I don't want to come off as, you know, like I said, this guy that's just running around, you know, and being considered as spam. So now that I have followed him and I retweeted him, you know, I consider that a small interaction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add him right here to a list. And I'm just adding right here to my list of follow-ups, which is locked. Only I can see that there. And as you can see right here, in this little list right here, he is going to populate. So I only have two people in this list right now. So as he continuously tweets, I can see different things. And what I would do is, and you notice right here, you know, just from following him. Well, actually, that's a different person right there. That's, um, you know, just, just making mention in reference to um, me on Twitter here. But actually, here's the guy right here. Uh, nope, that's the same guy right there. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, no, that is actually him. That is him. So just by following him, just by um, retweeting what he 
had to say there already provoked in reference a conversation that I'm going to be able to have in reference to this guy just sent me his email address, you know, just for the simple fact that I just retweeted and I just followed him. And sometime maybe even if you favorite it, because this is what you naturally do when people favorite your stuff, when people retweet your stuff or when people follow you, you possibly go over and you investigate and see what that person's all about, what they do, what they have going on and reference to um you know their twitter i mean you know you go investigate and see what kind of uh things they have going on so when i come to this guy right here that i'm using as an, as an example here i'm looking for his website <clears throat> And I don't necessarily see that he even has a website because naturally when the person has a website, it's right down here and you can click right into their web page and see what they have going on there. So, you know, um, play with different search terms. I mean, you know, these are not even necessarily the search terms that I'm extremely happy with for the simple fact that I only get so many pushes, so many, so much of a feed at, at so often. It's so, you know, it's just not as strong as I would like for it to be as far as updating when you do come over here to add a column for instance let's go over here to the trends and here's the top trend right here now beware this is going to move really fast here nothing's going to be wrong with your screen here so when i hit add column when it comes to an, uh, a topic that a lot of people are talking about you can see how fast that that trend is moving i don't necessarily want to find something that's moving that fast in reference to my business but i do want to see something that's going to populate uh, quite frequently not as fast as this but I do want to see something that's populating where I'm able to you know star things and favorite things and I'm able to retweet some people and follow some people and put them on my little list there as far as small interactions and when you come over here you can even go into you know the previews of the images because sometimes following random people you never necessarily know what you're going to get there in reference to different stuff so you know I don't necessarily want to see any pictures um, you can take the alerts you can turn them off you can turn the alerts on you can have it pop up and sound if you decide you want to um, when it comes to engagement, you can do different types of things in reference to your engagement. Um, you know, any users, you can kind of target certain type of users, whatever the case may be. So right here, I can go ahead and I can remove this column because I don't necessarily want to see that column on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to kind of focus on in reference to, you know, my target audience of the people that I'm trying to target through Twitter. And, you know, you can look through down through here. You can kind of see different things that's happening and what people are saying and what people are talking about. And there's been a lot of times I've created videos. I've, I do all kind of different things from topics from Twitter, what the people are asking for, because this is the focus of what we want to see this is the focus of what people are looking for so this is where my focus is in reference to giving the people what they desire so if you're not using TweetDeck as a listening tool if you're not using some type of twitter or some type of facebook or some type of social um you know application as a listening tool you know i really advise you as just a business tip here something that i do um, something I do to, you know, continuously bring business to me without actually physically getting out, knocking on doors. Um, this is something I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I come over here and I just interact with people in reference to, you know, finding um, my target audience. And as you can see there, we already have some type of interaction in reference to, I thought it actually was someone else. Let's go add my mentions column right here. And... When I get to my mentions column right here, you can see where the guy had mentioned me right there, you know, and he hit me up. Here's Lex and here's uh, Lex mine right here in reference to, you know, uh, already inside my mentions here. And I got some type of small interactions in reference to Twitter, you know, from my from my mentions there. So give it a try. Let me know how it worked out for you guys. Um, if you need some additional help, you know, please let me know. And um you know, I'd be happy to do everything I can to assist you by just coming over and shooting me over a tweet. And of course, you can follow me and you can tweet at me at website candy at any time. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye now.